Hi there. In this video, we're going to take a look at a variable save and variable load nodes. We'll use the draw template in this video. So let's open that up and let's preview the draw template. So in our draw template, we have the ability of collecting a key to open the door. And if we hit any walls, we get the game over screen and we start all over again. So one way we can use a variable load and variable save is to persist some kind of state in our game. For instance, each time we restart the game, we have to collect the key and reopen the door again. So let's modify this game so that if we collected a key, the door will be open every time we restart this level. And we can do that by going into the key asset. And inside here, what we want to do is add two of our nodes. So here's the variable save and variable load. The variable save and variable load both have the same exact options. We have the variable name and the storage. The storage options we have is global settings or this entity. Global settings is the one that is going to save in our settings and it will stay there even if we close the app and reopen. And this entity, it will store the variable for this entity specifically. And each time the object gets created or game restarts, the variable will be empty. So in our case, we're going to use the global settings and let's leave it at that. And how we want to save this variable is when we get a true from if collide. To make sure that we only get true from if collide, let's go and add a signal filter that will pass only true to our variable save. Let's connect that. And this is the setup that we can use to save the state of this key. And since we have multiple keys in our scene, we need to be able to set the variable name from our scene. And we can do that by using the pin option. This right here, this pin. So if you enable this pin, we'll be able to set this value for each specific key in our scene. And we'll do that a little bit later, but for now, let's set up the variable load. So what we want to do with variable load is whenever this key gets created, we want to see if our variable is true. Then we want to trigger the open node and the defeat node. We'll use a signal filter again to make sure that we get only true and we'll connect to open and to defeat. In the variable load options, we'll also pin the variable name. And now we can go back to our 3D world. And in here, if we select our key, we have the variable load and variable save. And here are our variable names. So let's set this one to be key one. And we need to use the same variable for variable load and variable save so that we use the same setting. And then for the other key, let's set it to key two. And key two for here. And that's all we had to do to save the state of our doors. So now let's test it out, click preview. Let's play it. So now if we go and collect the key. And then we accidentally collide with the wall. We can click play and we can see that the door opens automatically when the game loads. So let's go see our door two. And we still see the key and the door two is locked. So if we collect a key and crash into the wall. And now we can see that the door two is also open. Currently there is a build box game jam. The deadline for that is May 10th and we're participating in that game jam. So we're not gonna make any new videos until the game jam is over, which is about a week from now. If you like this video, click on the like button. If you're not subscribed to our channel, subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.